Hi, my name is Sam Johnson and I am a voice teacher. If you want to learn more about me, go to my website vocalease.net where you could also book a lesson. I'm going to be reacting to Chen and Peck Young singing Really I Didn't Know for a Mortal Song. Nice breathy mix. Live mix. Ooh, it's so small. He's just sitting right on his bridge. He's singing right on that E flat and E, and it's really quite light. It's a small vocal fold, it's not a lot of weight. Often when people try to sing these notes, it's coming from chest voice from a lower place where it feels bigger, and as you go higher, you don't thin it out. But he's thinning it out really quite well. And it's still connected because it sounds like his spoken voice. That's kind of a misconception. A lot of people think that people in pop music don't sing with vibrato. They do, it's just kind of different than how people in classical do. When he went back to that really low part, well, it's not super low, but it's lower than some of the other stuff that he's sung. When he went down to that, he didn't beef it up like crazy. He didn't try to add a ton of extra volume because it's not appropriate for the song. Just because you're singing something low doesn't mean it has to be huge. Just because you're singing something high doesn't mean it has to be light. He has control over whether it's going to be big or small at any of these places. On that O, oh, he didn't even make his lips super round, it was just O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, O, oh. and that was kind of cool. If you round the lips too much, sometimes the sound falls back, but keeping it at that O uh, keeps the sound forward, which is a really consistent space to sing in. That's up to the B flat. There was a little thing at the end of it. Ah! Just a kind of interesting offset, but sometimes when you get that whiny and you just stop, there, there's like a weird little event that happens. It's such a whiny sound at the top. It's just like a baby crying into it. And that's how he's able to make his vocal cords thin out enough up there so that they can produce the high pitch but stay together so that it sounds like him, so it doesn't sound like he's flipping or like it's hard. Cha 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 c
they're listening so well to each other that they're able to just follow everything that the other person is going to do. They anticipate it before it happens so that they're always going to be together. And that just comes from listening and from a ton of practice and spending a lot of time singing with the same person. <laughs> same thing there, he didn't close it to a really round O. It wasn't like ooh, it was O. Oh. Just like how you say it, because we only round it a little bit. And sometimes people over round their vowels when they're singing and it makes things difficult. He started with a lot of weight up there. It was really cool. That's up to the B, so it's well above his bridge. He's not pulling, it's just a very beefy sound. So the vocal cords still have to stretch out, it's just they have a little bit more weight to them. in his throat there was a lot going on like there were muscles and veins that were quite visible honestly I don't think that you can just pull chest voice up to this B he has some sort of mix it's so heavy and so aggressive that if he's saying like that all the time it probably wouldn't work very well for him but he's not I mean the rest of the song he's saying in a very balanced way so it's okay for him to go to this extreme for a second. It's not gonna do anything because he's gonna come back and go right back to a really nice, easy place. And he has control to be able to go back to that. If he ever got stuck singing like he did on that last note for a whole song, I don't know how he'd survive it. But he can get away with it for a little bit. Really good melody. They tuned with each other super well. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share with your friends if you think that they'd like it. Leave a comment below if there's a video that you'd like me to analyze. And have a great day. Thank you.